Hey, I'm Art Ringus, technical writer at Ixisoft. I'm going to talk about a new feature introduced in Ixisoft CCMS Web 6.5 for DRM, the push action. You can use this feature to quickly move content between branches in CCMS Web without having to copy and paste it, or create new topics and other things to put the content in. First, a quick refresher about the dynamic release management module. In DRM, there are different content objects like topics, images, and maps, and these are in branches. Branches are ways to organize the objects. There are many ways to use branches, but one way is to collect all the content that is for some specific purpose. As an example, let's say you are publishing several books about all the oceans of the world. You might have one branch for the Arctic Ocean, one for the Pacific, and another for the Atlantic. Each branch has content specific to that ocean, but the branches also share some content that's generally true about oceans. Now, the push action lets you quickly send content from one branch to another. So, if you update one topic in the Arctic Ocean branch with something useful, you could send that content to the Pacific branch. It's as simple as finding the object you want with the content you want and then pushing that object from the branch it's in to the branch where you want it to be. When you push an object, CCMS Web checks a bunch of things. One thing is whether the object already exists in the other branch. If the object doesn't already exist in the other branch, then the object is added to the other branch. In this case, nothing new is created. Instead, the CCMS makes both branches share the same existing copy of the object. So now, the object appears in both branches. So, if I pushed a topic about currents from the Arctic branch to the Atlantic branch, the object in the Arctic branch is now shared with the Atlantic branch, and changes to the object will now appear in both branches. However, it's possible that the other branch already has another instance of the same object. An instance is a copy of an object specific to a branch. Think of it kind of like the alternate universe version of the object that exists in the other branch. It's the same object, but in the universe of this different branch, it might be a bit different. And possibly evil. When there is another instance in the other branch, you can update that instance with the content from the object that you want to push. So, if I update the topic about currents in the Arctic branch, I could push the new content to the other instance of the topic about currents in the Pacific branch without needing to copy and paste it. Now, CCMS Web is smart. It not only checks if there are other instances, it also checks if that instance I want to update was modified more recently than the instance I'm pushing, meaning there's a good chance the content in that other instance is something new I might want to keep. In this case, you can still push the content to the other instance even if it was modified more recently, but you need to update it manually. CCMS Web is smart enough to know you might want to keep some of these recent changes, but it can't magically predict what you'd like to keep. At least not yet. So, you need to update the topic and decide what changes to keep and what changes to replace with the content you're pushing. Let's see how this works in CCMS Web. First, I'll use the search to find an object. Then, I click More Options and select Manage Instance. It's called Manage Instance because in this case, you are managing the content in the various instances of this object, but really, we'll be using this to push content around. So, the Manage Instance dialog opens. This dialog shows me all the branches where I could push the object and its content to. These branches either one, don't have the object, or two, have a different instance of the object. You can tell these two cases apart by the fact these branches have the same object icon and the last modified date for the different instance that they have. Plus, the object I'm pushing is up here, and it also shows the current branch it is in. And the branches are sorted by branch type if you use different branch types. As I select branches to push the object to, this text down here summarizes what will happen. It updates with each new branch I select. If I need to manually update an instance, it will say that here, but I can also choose to manually update an instance even when I don't need to, just in case I want to make specific changes while pushing the object. If there are a lot of branches, I can click this to sort them or use a search here to find a specific branch. When you select branches, currently you can only either share the object with the other branches or update one instance in other branches. You cannot update and share with at the same time. That's why these branches gray out once I select one. 
I'm updating the instance in that branch, so I cannot update the instance in those branches, nor can I share this instance with this branch. Also, the status of the other instances matters as well. I cannot push content from something that is in work status to something that is in done status, but I can push something from done status to work. This prevents older, working content that might not have been reviewed from ending up in other instances further along in their workflow, which keeps draft content out of the final product. Then I click push. Unless there is a manual update, that's it. Object pushed. The object is either automatically updated or shared. If the other instance was updated automatically, a new revision is created for that update. Now, one quick caveat about maps, they're actually never shared because of the way DRM works. So if you push a map, a new instance of the map is always created instead of being shared. But maps do update the same as other things. Now, that's how sharing and automatic updates work, where you pretty much replace the content in one instance with the content in another instance or add the object. But let's say you only want to push a paragraph from one topic to another topic or that the instance you want to push to was updated recently. That's when you would use a manual update. So let's reverse time a little and have a look at how you would do a manual update. So when I hit push this time, I'll instead go to the manual update window. On the manual update window, I can see the content in the target instance with the changes of the source instance I want to push as track changes marked in the object. I can then go through accepting or rejecting the changes. If I accept a change, that means I accept a difference from the object that I'm pushing. And rejecting a change is keeping the stuff in the other instance. Once all the changes are accepted or rejected, I click check in and enter a comment. This is because the target instance was checked out and a new revision with the updated content will be created. The update is complete and the object is pushed. Now, one final thing about dependencies. Let's say you want to push a topic and it has an image in it. The image is a dependency. When you push the topic to another branch, CCMS Web checks if the image is also in the other branches, much like how it checked for other instances. If the image isn't in the branch yet, then CCMS Web adds it, just like how it would share the object you push. This makes sure that no dependencies get broken. So if we rewind again and push another object. The push dependencies dialog only appears if your object has dependencies. Really, this dialog appears just to let you know that these dependencies will be shared with the branches you are pushing to because they aren't currently there. So you can expand these to see more info about the dependencies and click these icons to open these dependencies in a separate tab. And these dependencies listed here this is really just to inform you that this object that you're pushing has dependencies, but there are already instances of them in the other branch. In this case, CCMS Web doesn't do anything with those dependencies. It just lets you know they're there in case you want to update them. And if you do want to update those dependencies, then you need to push them separately. But you might also get this window. This happens when there is a dependency that needs to be shared with or added to the other map, but it can't be, often because the dependency is locked by another user. In this case, you would need to message the other user and tell them to check in the content. There you go, the basics of using the push action in CCMS Web. As you saw, it's a quick way to update content across branches, letting you share a new object with another branch. Or you can use it to update an older instance of an object in another branch with the new content written in your current branch. And the CCMS Web tracks changes in the dependencies to make sure nothing gets broken or important content gets overwritten, making this a must-have feature for anyone working in DRM.